going on, guys? Welcome to another podcast of the Finally. Of the Roundtable. You Finally. shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. I have life. It is a scene called life, but we are on episode five. It has been five. It, it, oddly enough, it's episode five, and it's been five months since we actually done our last one. How about four months? Uh, at November 7th. It was when we did it last. So I'm rounding up five months. We've been slacking, right? Yes, we've been slack. I've been slacking. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, They're about that. Uh, life. But yeah, <laughs> so we're going to be talking about uh, things that we've, since we wanted to do a uh, podcast for last year, we just mm-hmm. haven't got around to doing it. So we'll do it this year and we'll talk about what our favorite things of last year is. But before that, I'm going to go introduce everyone. Well, uh, we got Kawaii Crew, who has recently had all of his uh, channels um, uh, a little bit deleted, uh, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, I can't link his account right now, but hopefully we'll, he'll get that back and win that uh, that uh, YouTube debauchery, for lack of a better word. Hashtag <laughs> pray for Kawaii. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Kawaii Crew Lives Matter. <laughs> uh, hashtag Hawaii so, Lives Matter, man. Hashtag Hawaii Lives Matter. Yes. yes. Hashtag. Uh, we also have Oliver Smiley in here. Hello. Uh, we got anime. Uh, we got Limit Break. I had to fix that. We had to have. We limit have break anime Dave in this limit. bitch. <laughs> anime Dave in this bitch samurai. Yes. Oh, Afro Samurai 2.0. What's going on? <laughs> He's no longer Limit X Break. It's actually Anime Dave. And we have his friend here, Cassius, right? What's good? What's good, bro? Yes. Okay, we, Discord. Yes, we also are going to have a special guest hopefully joining in later on. We're just waiting um, for, yeah. uh, we're waiting for when he comes back, so we'll save then. We were also supposed to have a, a certain Lar Games here, but this is why you abandoned us again. But this dickless dick um, <laughs> decided he was like, hashtag no. piece of shit. <laughs> hashtag fuck. Hashtag fuck Laura 2.0. Yes, uh, yeah. So he was like, you know, I haven't really been uh, watching. I don't know why I gave him a Christopher Walken accent. But he was like, no, I haven't been watching a lot of anime this season, so I I won't be able to, you know, um, get a lot of anime in here. So. <laughs> Yeah, so... He... Perfect accent right there. <laughs> so he's doing his own thing, so unfortunately, Lar is not going to be able to join us again twice in a row. Fucking, uh, fucking he... greasy son of a bitch. <laughs> he, he <has> no... <laughs> Damn, holy shit. I... We're not trying to... Hey, we're not trying to commit a murder on the podcast. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Maybe next time, because their time is a charm. If he doesn't join in the third time, oh, we're, we're going to go all ham... All... We're going to go yeah. hard on the... Yeah, we're, we're going to come to your house, because we know where you live, Lar. I'm going to beat you with my... I'm going to beat you with a bamboo stick, and it's going to be ugly, just like your face will be. I'm going to slap you with my noodles. <laughs> what are you talking about? His face has always been ugly. Oh, damn. Oh, my god. Oh, damn. Lar, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... We're going to be jumping into our favorite uh, shows, our top three favorite shows of every season from winter all the way to, actually, sorry, sp- well, yeah, actually, technically winter if you count a continuation, um, but it's technically from spring 2018, uh, 2017, sorry, all the way to winter 2017, so we're going to go figure out, uh, who wants to start it off of spring 2017, or winter 2017, I apologize, what were your th- top three favorites, I, you guys can jump in, whoever wants to jump in. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Maid, Dragon Maid, uh, Interviews with Monster Girls, and Gabriel Dropout for me. Ooh, really, Gabriel Ooh. Dropout? That's yeah. actually impressive. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll join mine. Okay, so number one, Dragon Maid. Number two, Dragon Maid. Number three, Dragon Maid. <laughs> okay, no, honestly, you know, Dra- Kobe, I see Sean, no, um, uh, Dragon Maid is by far one of my favorite shows of the entire year, let alone of the season. It was great. Konosuba was also great. I think my number oh, yeah, two Konosuba big... Oh, yeah, was good. Yeah, I think my number two big would probably be Yoja Senki or Saga of Tanya the Evil. And I think my third favorite would probably have to go to Konosuba. I think... I, I loved Konosuba. Demi-chan is right under it. But I think Konosuba just inches it out. I think those would be my top three. All right. For me, it would be... Top three would be Demi-chan... Mm-hmm. Uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and Kuzuno Honkai, which oh, I mean, I was, totally yeah, a lot, 
I haven't even seen uh, that yet. Not a lot of people like it, but I but I totally dig it, and totally not because of the few jury scenes. You know, the, <laughs> totally not because nudge, of that. Nudge, no. Wink, wink. Oh yeah, no, 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 definitely not for that. <laughs> And totally not because the my live reaction to the first episode got like over 600k views. I beat of you, course bitch. not. I finally beat you, bitch. My other one has like 650,000, which is sad. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, I actually need to watch Koza no Honkai. My friend was telling me about it, and she was watching, and she thoroughly enjoyed it. She, it, it, I heard it's a very detailed, but it's a very dark. Um, it's very dark, and it's, it shows how messed up things can be. Yeah, and it, there are some parts where it, it is kind of depressing so yeah but i heard it's done very well though in an artist yeah it, sense, it is pretty, done very well it is done pretty well yeah uh what what about you uh limit <laughs> <laughs> i know it, it, you know how hard it's gonna be to get used to this it's gonna take get so used long to it, then, then. Um, all right so uh, anyway, Dave. Okay, spring spring 2017 right yeah yeah oh, all yeah, right yeah winter uh, sorry winter 2017 winter 2017 winter 2017 uh, yeah. I'd like to say Kobayashi san, mm -hmm. Yojo Senki, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have to say Kuzuno Honkai as well. Man. Wow, nice, nice. Hey, I'm, I'm right, glad then. that uh, so far it's been agreed that Kobayashi <laughs> is the top. All right, Cassius, what well, did you if you watched a lot of uh Winter 2017 or any, which ones were your favorite? I don't know if you even have a topic. I agree right. with David. Uh, I mean anime. Anime Dave. Yeah, yeah, I agree with him. Yeah. All three, all three of those. Uh, okay. Yeah. I got you. Because he be, he be forcing me to watch that shit, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you're gonna watch. You're you are gonna watch this Yuri, and you're gonna like. I gave him the option. He doesn't have to watch it if you don't want to. Hey, bro, I have no option. Sure. Right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is forced. But yeah, bro, I agree with him there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I know which. All right, so moving on to spring 2017, I already know what uh, Cassius likes because you said you loved yeah. Attack on Titan season two. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, bro, it was good. And Overlord too. Overlord was fun too. I'm not sure if that was spring or oh. where, but that was good as well. Oh. Overlord, Overlord two was winter 2018. No, no, no. Uh, oh no, damn. Well, I thought it was earlier. What was the first Overlord? When was the first Overlord? Oh, Overlord was tw first Overlord was 2015. Really? Holy shit! I didn't know. Back that's a long, long time ago. Oh my gosh! I didn't even realize that. I thought it was like. See, I've only ever. I've only ever read the novels until now, so I'm not even sure about the first season. I've never watched it. Hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, I've so only you ever read the novels. Yeah, because I, I've already read the entire story before, oh, so I was just okay, watching. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so I was just watching it because like it, it was on my recommendations and stuff. So okay. I checking it out because of that. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. All right. Boruto was good though. Boruto Springs, uh, twenty sixteen, right? Isn't it still seventeen? Going on? Boruto still yeah, going it's on. Yeah, episode forty seven right now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. Boruto. I think Boruto would fit in there too. Boruto was good. Yeah, Boruto uh, was Overlord. actually spring twenty seventeen. Yeah, so, yeah, so you got Attack on Titan season two and Boruto. Okay, all right. Boruto, yeah, that's it. Ooh, I already, I already know what Kawhi's is gonna be. Recreators has got to be on that top three, huh? Mm-hmm. Number do. one. Oh, really? Okay, all right. I never and watched Recreators. I need. I to. didn't miss part. I need to. I missed that one. I need to. And my other two would be uh, Suka Suka and Attack on Titan season two. Ooh, really? Ooh. Okay, all right. Uh, what about you, Anime Dave? Sorry, limit break. <laughs> 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 I can hear him wanting to kill me from here. <laughs> uh, was Era Manga Sensei a spring anime? Yes. Or? Uh, yeah. yes. Are you uh, actually going to pick that? I, I'm not oh judging. I'm just, I, I'm was, all the, I was going to pick it. Of, I was of pick how Manga stacked Sensei. spring 2017 is. That's why I'm just surprised. Like, it, I, the Era Manga Sensei, we all know, is a masterpiece. But uh, just how stacked spring 2017 yeah. was. I'm yes. actually surprised you're actually going to pick Era Manga Sensei. But go on. Era Manga Sensei. Okay. Oh, give me um, one second. Uh, all right, well, Smiley, uh, you go while he's... Uh, doing All right, Eramanga Eramon Sensei was great. Uh, Suka Suka was beautiful, is the best way I can describe it. It was a beautiful anime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's two. And <clears throat> I'm actually going to say Sakura Crest. Really? Oh. Wow. That, yeah. I, that, I was not expecting that one at all. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to say Sakura Crest because that was actually got really good. 
uh, that went by. So that was really good, actually. Yeah, I only watched the very first episode. I sh- and yeah, everyone, episode. everyone watched the first episode and then dropped it, but I kept going, and it gets better and better as it goes along. Yeah, I, I figured. All right, Honestly, so- I kind of I dropped after like the sixth or seventh episode. I just kind of got like wasn't really interested in it. It seemed like, and it was definitely something more that seemed like it, it would be better to watch on your own rather than react to. It felt like <laughs> it's, it felt like one of those shows. All right, I get my list right now. All right, go ahead. So he's got you, right. you got your manga sensei. I got uh, recreators. As a matter of fact, I, I, I searched that out for some else. Uh, recreators, Boku no Hero Academia second season, and Shingeki no Kyojin oh, season okay. two. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I mean, right. your manga sensei is probably fourth place right now. All right, that, that's that's okay. You know, also, all right. So, no particular order. My Hero Academia season two was f- fantastic. Ooh man, it's it's hard, but I think I'm gonna say Suka Suka, and yes. then. Because a lot of people didn't watch it, even though I think it was very good. Buso Sojo Machiavellianism. I think that was a very good show, and I would love to see a second season. I would love to. It, it was done very well. I, I personally think so. And it, it is very unappreciated because uh, compared to everyone else, like it, it's pretty far down the list. I mean, it's, it's like 12th place. But it was very well done. Granted, it was against Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, so it makes sense. Uh, but moving on to summer thir- uh, summer 2017. Ooh, that's right. There's a oh my gosh. things. This is where this is where it gets juicy. Oh man. Yeah. I, 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 oh I, yeah. I'm looking at all of them right now. Oh god, Princess Principles on there. I, I, okay. Do the you have you want? Obviously. However many you want on this one. This one's an exception because of how stacked summer was as well. In fact, I think yeah. it, it was more stacked for our tastes, but Supreme was more stacked for everyone else's tastes. But in terms of what we all watch, I think summer 2017 is the most stacked. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You can, give, you, you can give a top five. Oh, man. I had to think about this, actually. Number one, Princess Principle. Uh, good Definitely. Man. Good man. Um, two, New Game, season two. Oh, no, Anime Dave. Anime Dave just left us. I think he disconnected. Uh, all right, good, good, just continue. Yeah, you got nah, it. He'll be back. Yeah. All right. Two, two New Game. Three gamers, definitely. Four uh, Kakaguri, five Made in Abyss. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I think I'll give mine. I- I'm definitely not going to add Classroom of the Elite because it just went downhill very at, mm. near the end. I, I, it was so really? good. I, th- I, okay, so I'll, I'll give my own rants on it in a second. All right. Number one, Princess Principal. Number two, yep. Kakaguri. Number three, Suri Suri Children. Number four, gamers. Number five, oh man, ah, uh, ah, uh, there's just so many. I- I'd say number five would probably be, be Aho Girl. I thoroughly enjoyed Aho Girl. It made I'd... me laugh. Aho every... Girl. It made me laugh every single episode. No love for Hatchet No Girl. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I could. I no, actually didn't finish no. it. I didn't la- watch the last episode. I just, I just watched the first episode. And I just quit. <laughs> it's actually. I'm, so I was actually, the only one that fi- fixed it, finished it. Watch it in English dub. My God, is actually much more enjoyable. I actually, I never finished it in Japanese because the Japanese it felt so bland, and then the. You can tell the English dub. I know. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, "Uh, the English dub." They had so much fun while they were working on that script. It was amazing. I, I know I've said this in a previous podcast. I'm pretty sure, but they had so much fun while doing it. And I listened yeah. to it in the background. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this this voice acting is hilarious." And like they they weren't taking it super seriously. It was just let's have fun because fuck it. It's a horrible show. <laughs> so we're just gonna have fun and make it as horrible as it was, and they made it so good. But I do want to talk about Sir, uh, Classroom of the Elite. Because okay, well, I, okay, before before that, I want I want to give my top five first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Go, go, go. All right, so top five. I'm I'm just gonna start from five. Uh, let's see. Top five. Number five would be ah oh, sh- shit. What did I, what did I put for five? Um. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's my five. popular belief. No, I didn't put NT Netzo Trap anywhere near my top five. Smart, smartphone. That was your. That was it. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't it's, it's the honorable, smartphone. That's, that's in the honorable mentions. <laughs> oh, fuck, what? What? What was it? Ah, oh, man. Oh yeah, top uh, number five, Main Abyss. Number really? four. That low? 
Yeah. Um, okay, well, go uh, ahead. I know. I have. Surprise. I know. I have. I have shit taste. I know. Okay. Uh, okay go ahead. That's, that's fine. I was just. No, that shit is laws. Laws. That's a uh, worse taste than you, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you would mark it as one of the worst shows because of how dark it gets, apparently. Like I said, don't spoil anything. I've been completely... I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm, actually, I'm not going to say I, anything. I've stayed, I, I'm actually really damn good at staying away from spoilers if I want to. Alright, and then number four... Ah, fuck, what was number four? Um, I know number three was Classroom of the Elite. Number two, Princess Principal. Number one, Recreators. Recreators? Well, you... you Re, you already picked Recreators for Spring, so... Okay, well, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. What about you? Not Kakegurui? Did you ever finish it? Uh, I think Kakegurui was like in honorable mentions. Oh, really? I thoroughly enjoyed Kakegurui. I've actually rewatched it because it, it came out in English dub, and so my roommates watched it, and so I rewatched it with them. Um, no, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure uh, Cruise uh, number one is uh, Net Zero Trap. <laughs> it's not. Oh, yeah. Did you say Children? Oh yeah. Thank you, Ramen. Oh, thank, like, like, okay. thank you, Ramen. I was like, I feeling something. Yes. Wrong. Number four was a tie between New Game Season Two and Surizuri Children. Okay. Sorry, sorry, yeah. children. Okay. I, it, it just—I couldn't not have a smile on my face. I just I had a yeah. smile on my face every time I watched it, and it was filled with so many cute moments. I was like, oh, oh so yeah, cute. It made me want to have a relationship, which made me sad at the same time. So I was like, fuck yeah. you, yeah. feelings. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you for making yeah. me hate being single. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Cassie's, you did say that you thoroughly enjoyed. Uh... Yeah, I got a few. Yeah, yeah, which, well, uh, I know you, one of them. Uh, restaurant to Another World yeah. is my, I didn't oh, know yeah, Chicken Rodger at all. Mm -hmm. Restaurant to Another World, a uh, Fate series, it was, I didn't want the best, but it was okay. Fate There's another series, have you heard of a series called In Another World with my smartphone? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that series was, I too, one. those are the only ones I really watched, though, I mean, fuck DBS. <laughs> <laughs> right, Welcome back, Anime Dave. Uh, it was so, good. I, I, I was about to give him a, a top five for the uh, summer 2017. We just gave ours, so we like we just made yeah. Go ahead, Dave. Oh yeah, you're on time. Oh, thank you. All Perfect right, on time. Right. So first of all, my number one, it's got to be main. Bro, it's got to be what? Main I believe you said main abyss. I know he was about to say. Did he fucking disconnect? No, I, he's, I think he's still there. Did, bro. I think. He was supposed yeah. to say Made in Abyss. He was about to say Made in Abyss, but bruh, bruh. Uh, bro, you know this guy's been asking me to watch that shit for uh, I'm, three months? No, I, I, we actually just got it. I'm, I'm going to go watch it. I'm going to like sit down and watch it and, and react to it because a lot of people are like, you should react to it. And consider the fact this. And considering the fact Made in Abyss is getting a flippin' sequel season. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people aren't going to really watch my one through six because it's pretty fluff, I heard. But then it's episode 7, a lot of people are going to watch it, and then episode 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah I don't know about a series called Knights and Magic. Knights and Magic, uh, I heard mixed things. I, I had mixed things. I, that's, yes. another yeah. one. that's another one in my list, bro. I've heard mixed but things. That's I've the... heard good things, but then I've also heard really bad things. So I'm like, Ugh, I haven't seen it. Uh, bro, it wasn't I... too bad, to be honest. It weren't are, like are you, crazy bad. Are you back? Yeah, I fucking ended up being a bitch. And I find that shit. I know. All right, sorry. So, all right, all right. number one was made in the best. We, we caught number that Number one right was made in the best. Caught. Yeah. All right, good. Number two, uh, Princess Principal. Good. Yes. Uh, nice. Number three, nice. yes. Classroom of the Elite. Uh, number four. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, God, I'm getting flashbacks. God damn it, that's not ice cream. I swear to God, that's not ice cream. Oh, okay. Let's get on, please. I need to get away from this. This is PTSD all over again. Go to all 1,000 sub goals. <laughs> yep. yep. Bro, I'm gonna tell everybody, for everybody watching, all right, if I ever get up to 1,000 subscribers, I'll officially react to Boku no Pico. Every single episode, yeah. we started this. Right, he make, told me this. He said to me, accounts. this is the first, it will be the first anime, anime day will rate an F. Oh. Bruh, he for real promised me he will react to every single episode non-stop. He oh. won't skip on nothing. Oh, <laughs> and no. it will be live reaction too, so y'all better give him subscribe real quick. Oh, God. <laughs> my thousand subscriber special was when I reacted to it with my friends. Yeah. Oh, God. My fucking All right, so number four. Okay, yeah, go on. Yeah, number four is gamers, and number mm -hmm. five, Kakagura. 
Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm hey, glad, was odd, I'm bro. glad I'm not the only one who had Kakiguri on my on my list. Bro, uh, number six. Was pretty good, bro. And yeah. that's getting a, sec a second sequel as well. That's getting a second season at some point. Yeah, point. So, so, Kakiguri is getting a second season. Oh, okay. It got greenlit. It got greenlit. Um, I do we just don't know when. If it's gonna be I mean, I don't know I how. I hope it's in development and they're just not saying shit. But it's also... Yeah. If it's under Netflix, then it probably also makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> Netflix just decides to do that. They'll like, hey, we're about to bring it out. And the next thing you know, it's out. Yeah, like, that's oh, how it works. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping it comes out because it got a lot of good traction. It got a lot Cons of good traction. Because in fact, Kegaguri, like, they... When they how they finished it was a completely different ending to how uh, the manga happened yeah. in the manga. Yeah, yeah, they left it out that way because I'm pretty sure they weren't sure if they were going to make a yeah. second season or not. Well, I mean, remember they you, they made all the well with Netflix. Uh, I know with a lot of Netflix things that they make everything at once and then they push it out. But it was weird for oh. Kakagurui. It was a weekly basis for them. But I don't know. Maybe they already made it and then they just sent it out weekly. Um, so that's why they did it that way, and they were waiting to see the re reviews. But it got they got a greenlit, I think, right before it even ended. I think. Mm. So it prob that's probably what happened. They were just waiting to see how much yeah. it was gonna get. And I'm glad it did. It's gonna get a second season because I'm thoroughly excited about that. Um, I do want to talk about Classroom of the Eight and why it definitely was gonna be in my top five when I first was watching it, and then it dropped immediately after. It's got to be the characters. And the amount of teasing that they do, because this show needs a second season for it to succeed. It needs a second season for it to succeed, because if it leaves it off as it is, it's very bad. In my opinion. It had a great start. The first few episodes, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see more. And they kept on teasing. They kept on teasing with, like, the whole personality shifts and the main character's backstory. But we got nothing. And then they would have random scenes like episode four or like episode five was like end on a really weird cliffhanger mm -hmm. and then beach scene and oh, it, yeah. was, it was just it was very jarring and like the, the, it didn't have a really good flow. If it had a better flow, if they actually had teased like I can understand if they teased enough about the main character and didn't talk about it much, but they should have talked more about. Uh, the girl with the split personality, I can't remember her name right off the top of my head. Uh, uh Ke Keo, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, if, I, I, I honestly really wanted something about her. I wanted some, I wanted the girl with the silver hair with the cane. I think she was a really interesting character, like, uh, aesthetically. And the guy who definitely does not look, the bald dude is definitely not a high school kid. I don't care who the fuck says <laughs> that. Dude looks older, that dude looks older, that looks as old as my fucking dad. So, bullshit, that guy is in high school. And with that, He's that 40, muscular. bro. Yeah, dude, and, I mean, he must got held back a few times, but... Hell like, yeah. Just, I had a feeling like the side characters were going to be really interesting, but they didn't build up, up on it. They were shown in the intro, they were shown to have presence in the school, but nothing came of it. I want to know more about the student council president, why he's a dick, and why he doesn't know how to fucking fight. Just, I wanted more, and, like, it had the ability to do it, and I, I will retract all these statements if the second season does come out, and... Um, if the second season does come out and they fix all that stuff, all these, like, my gripes about it will be completely gone. But overall, <clears throat> it was a good premise. It had a great um, plot and a, um, a, a great setup, but it, it failed on the ending, I feel like. And it just gave us a lot of content, but no substance, not a lot of details. And if they gave, them, gave us some details, at least some to answer some questions, it would have been a lot better, but that's the only reason why. But yeah. Yes, Cassius, the main character. Yeah, he, does, he does kind of, <laughs> MC does kind of look like, like a serial killer. <laughs> but That's the yeah, serial killer, bro. Yeah, but like if, like I said, if the second season comes out and they answer about that girl with a split personality, about the uh, the Zoom Council, about the girl with the white hair in the other classrooms, and about the yellow-haired dude who's also in their class that yeah. was swinging around like a monkey, or whatever, in, like the, in, during the, <laughs> the uh, oh, yeah. island arc, just like why he is the way he is, just something. Bro, I think the series got a coming a kill, bro. Because <laughs> that was the same thing I saw in the coming a kill, bro. There was no development at all. It was just a bunch of characters on the screen. That's about it. And, and, and they do a good Real job true. of making you like, I want to know more. 
That was one thing I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely give them props for. You definitely wanted to know more about the characters. They just never delivered, in my opinion. They gave some development to some characters. Yes, I will absolutely agree with that. Like especially the black haired girl. Um, again, name thrown off my head, but Susan May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. I think she was like, How okay, dare you a, forget she... about my goddess? <laughs> Technically, the goddess. No, I think of, uh, I think they possibly. also better pick better names, bro. The pink haired girl. Every character. Yeah, but I think they all have to take better names too, so it's more remember. I remember, like it's the name the worst. Oh, oh, damn. Why can't oh, everything just be called Goku or Gohan, bro? <laughs> bro, a chi chi, Bulma, and I don't know. Bulma, <laughs> fucking Bulma. Yeah, you can remember them names anytime. Something bro. simple, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not every. Bro, if that, if that pink hair girl was called Bulma, bro, I swear to God, I remember every day. <laughs> Bulma. Um, I mean, the the pink haired twin tail girl was my favorite out of all of them because at least she gave they gave her enough backstory and like I I can get behind. She's second yeah. best. Yeah, I see what you're trying to say, bro. Yeah, there was not enough development considering you know all and, the characters they showed. Like, that's everything. like one of my biggest like I love that when they get uh, when they, I get enough characters and if it's a subtly done if it's subtly done and they give you like development I think that's brilliant. They just didn't do that and that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like. If, if I wasn't so anal about the whole, like, character development, <laughs> I think I would have ranked it really high, pretty high up because it was visually well done and, like, storyline-wise, it was pretty good. But I'm very, like, I love character developments. I love character arts, arcs. Yeah. And it just, th- for me, it didn't deliver. That's the only reason why it wasn't ranked on my top five. And that's honestly, why I ultimately didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Honestly, Bro, I don't think you can do all that in 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. It's only 12 episodes long series. It's not like a long running series. It's only yeah, 12 episodes. Was, yeah, but you can, um, I, I understand that. But then they had it, They added episodes that were completely unneeded then. Like the whole beach scene. An, an unneeded episode. Not the beach scene, the uh, the swimming scene. That is a completely unneeded episode. It doesn't do, it didn't further the plot. Really yeah, much I, anyway. I'll have to agree. I'll probably have to yeah. agree. If you yeah. set that entire yeah. episode aside and just developed one character... Like one of the ones that they were teasing, I might that if they just replace that one episode alone and replace it with a character arc, arc episode, easily that this show would have probably made my fifth uh, top, um, top five. But honestly, yeah, personally, made, I think wanna... it was just a series which was written for a long running series rather than a short one. I don't yeah. think it was a series written for 12 episodes, I think it required a second, maybe third season, too. I think they could have done it in 15 episodes. 15 or 16 hmm. episodes. I mean, I there's some anime happened. out there that just completed the entire story in, like, six episodes. So it's like the whole yeah, number of episodes doesn't really matter. It is, like, the, uh, determining on the pacing and, like, everyone's saying, the like, yeah. character development and all of that. And then, like, like, or they could have done, they could have cut off characters that weren't as big of a story plot that they were showing interest in. Like, the girl with the cane. Yeah, she's the leader of one of the classes in Class A. But what what do we know about her? She's just one of the leaders, but they kept on like showing her and showing her and showing her, and then they were like, "I want to know more. What is she about?" Never shown anything. If they cut her out, or they cut off characters that they kept on teasing, but would have brought back in like a later season, that would have been better because they kept on teasing the idea of, "Hey, there's this really interesting character that you should kind of like look at," but we're not going to show anything about it. Yeah, I can see what you're trying to say because Tokyo Ghoul season one was twelve episodes too, and it did way better job than this yes, entire series did. Because they they focus on a core group of individuals. They showed other ones, but they were very they were reduced as a side character, or they got enough screen time where it was perfectly enough, and then they sent them. Yeah, this is where this is where uh, Raman, you know, saying that everything like would be justified if we actually they actually explain everything with a season two because how they kept. Uh, Teasing with this girl is like obviously trying to lean towards something. So like, yeah. I think. Yeah, I but think, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I think they were banking on the fact that just from the name alone, and it was a light novel, and I think it was a pretty successful light novel. It would have gotten enough funds. Yeah. that It would have been guaranteed a second season to build up upon this. But they. But here's yeah. the thing, though. They don't have enough funds because I heard the no. the BDs they fucking bombed in terms of sales. Yeah. So you're better off reading the. The yeah. novels, if you want to know more. That's what I just mm. have a feeling that their, their, their direction was that they were guaranteed to bank a second season. And yeah. looking at that, I it think, makes yeah. sense. Looking at it this way, it makes a lot of sense because it does set up for a second season where they can build up on these characters, which would make the series a lot better, but they just didn't execute it right. They didn't really think about it. I think they should have been guaranteed a second season right off the get-go, and then it would have been better. Like, if at the end, it would have been like, by the way, second season coming out X whenever, two thousand X. I would be like, okay, that I'll give it, I'll give it some slack. But we didn't get anything. 
and we're not. It doesn't seem like we're gonna get anything. Fuck. Yes, that seems to be the case for that one. And like, I, like yeah. I, I, I it wasn't like it a. It has a possibility of being a really good show. I honestly think so. It just needs a little bit more. It needs more time and more development. And it's. And I think it will be good. I think it'll be really good. Also, best girl is actually the teacher. By the way, I gotta agree with you there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like it requires. It requires. Hey, she's teaching. hot, but it's it's unfortunate that she's just girls, like though. a side character. Yes, so. yeah. yes, yes, yes. It see, looks like a milk to me. This is why we need a second season so we can get more development on the teacher. Well, exactly. we can't yeah, because of because of BD sales bombed and. <laughs> I've also heard that the studio, like, they change a lot of stuff from the light novels. So that's probably why it bombed. Yeah, that's that could easily be a big reason because they probably yeah yeah they, yeah, they you gotta keep that, the core fan base. Yeah, you gotta keep the core fan mess. base. You that's exactly why DBS is gonna bomb, bro. Because they fucked the entire core fan base, bro. They want some light checks here and there, so they fucked all the fast core fans. Yeah, I know over, a lot of fans and they put this new there, series yeah. out, which yeah, they fucked up entire manga for the sake of this season. Yeah, the main it's thing, a complete L, bro. It's yeah, definition of I an mean, L. Like, when you think of an L, DBS. Yeah, even my brother, who his first real anime that he really got into was Dragon Ball, then Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, all of them. He got really into them. He was really, he loved Super. And then he was like, this is kind of feeling like filler, like unneeded. It's just yeah. Extra, just to be extra and no real. It's like all, it's a bunch of sub, it's a bunch of extras with no substance in it. Yeah, I hope and, Kakua doesn't end up like this. I like Kakua. I hope that's that's it. Don't end up like this. So I mean, I don't really follow it. He watches it on his. Uh, him and then my roommate watch it on their own time, and I watch it from here and there, and I keep up with it from news outlets. But I don't you watch know, it myself. My, yeah, in my Damn. opinion, one of Super's the great one of the greatest issues with that series is the fact that it has no manga to build off of. That's just it. Yeah. That is true. Well, here's, another thing well, here's is a counter argument, argument for that. Look at Boruto. Boruto is based off a of manga, but the entire plot of Boruto is 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 original. But it's, bro, the thing with Boruto there. is, Boruto was coming off a complete like a full movie. It was coming off a movie. It was coming off stuff which was written in the yeah. end of the other manga, like okay. names of the, uh, names of the sun and everything. And the main author was still there. Whereas with this series, DBS, the main author is just a name. He's not really there. The series being written by God knows who. Yeah. It's the only thing with Boruto is that bro. they're really trying to extend it, like, you know, add filler and less of life into yeah. it. Sort of put even more than needed up. emphasis on each individual character like we don't really need. But, yeah, I mean, that's the Bro, thing even there. Boruto messed up, though. Boruto is, I don't know what, what's going on with this Boruto fan base. Like the thing with they are Naruto fan boys. Yeah, yeah. I, I think with Super Naruto, is sad. Yeah, There's absolutely sure. nothing to build off of with that. Hot damn. Uh, bro, I'm definitely yeah. gonna be watching bro, High School DxD. <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand can't show that what... on podcast, but hot damn! That was just released know. just then, apparently. Just, well, at least thinking discretion, man. Give the fans what they want. Yeah, bro. Give the fans what <laughs> they want. Put it on M. <laughs> put it on M. Jer. <laughs> put it on like put it in the description. Uh, just uh, give uh, them what okay, they want. Okay, I will just vividly paint this out you see it's a high school dxc hero season four poster of uh who is that blonde chick oh is that aja no her yeah are too give big. them a link bro give no, them a link at least too big to be aja maybe it's essentialized for uh yeah you know okay it's koneko and aja i'm assuming but her boots are too big but in a, in, a, in a hot springs bath, and Koneko's bending over, and dink, uh, fuck you, Steam. We will, we will. But officer, it's just pretending. Get in the car. <laughs> She's not real. Get in the car. <laughs> Criminal scum. Ravioli, ravioli, do not lose the cat, lolly. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, you know, I think this is a perfect segment point to move over to Fall 2017. Yes, yes, because yes, I feel yes, like yes, going to go. All right, so Fall 2017, there was a lot of stuff. It's yeah, still going first, on, I believe, is Ancient Magnus Bride so done now? Fall 2017 was no, like that's still going on. on. Okay, yeah. Uh, Magnus yeah. Bride came out in Fall 17, uh, uh, Fall year. So Same thing with Black Clover. So. Yeah, so if you're going to pick anything, it has to be. If you're going to pick Black Clover or. Magnus Bride, uh, it has to be in this season. It's even though it's continuing, it's it started in Black Clover is good. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's go. Anime Dave. Since you were last, 
last That's time. a top five? Top five or top three. Um, I might only do top three because I didn't watch too many things from this season. But if you have a top five, go for it. All right. Number one, Inuyashiki. Number two, Hoseki no Kuni. Okay. Uh, number three, let's see, uh, Ancient Magus' Bride. Uh, number four, Shokugeki no Soma. And number five, Black Clover. And a close number six is, uh, I would say tied for number six is uh, Imanoto Saeda Bai and uh, Kikai Sensen Gyan. Okay. I'm actually surprised um, uh, you put Black, uh, not Black Clover, um, Shokugeki no Soma low. No, 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 no. You didn't put that low. I don't know. I'm tripping. Yeah, you tripping on me. <laughs> I am. Uh, what was your number uh, four? Because you said Black Clover was five. What was your number four again? Uh, Shokugeki no Soma. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm surprised you put it as low as you did. That's what I meant. Mm, I thought that would have been I mean, Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty uh, cool with this list. Sorry. All right, all right. Uh, I, I can only do a top three. Out of all of them, ooh, which one do I like more? I think... The recovery of an MMO junkie mm-hmm. is number one for me. Just how much I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, I yeah. I think... Ooh, I don't know if I can pick Showbitch as... Yeah, you know what? Showbitch number three, and then number two would be uh, Sisters All You Need. I thoroughly enjoyed a Sisters All You Need. I know a lot of people are taught off from the first four minutes, which is understandable. Um... But it was a very good show that talked about... It was really industry. good. It talked about the light yeah, novel industry. And also, Ashley is best girl. I don't care what the fuck you say. <laughs> I already know you're going to say something. Ashley is best girl. And not Setsuna because I fucking got... Queen, oh my Queen God. Ayu. <laughs> Queen Ayu. <laughs> oh, man. That was a really weird call. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boys, man of culture. Queen Ayu. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, I'll, I'll take the L because I did think that Setsuna was a fucking girl and I got... Fucking bamboozle when I found out that I was a guy. Oh, God. I remember that. I remember that I reaction. I was actually, like, I, would, <laughs> I just, I facepalmed the entire time. I was like, God damn it. The moment when you think best girl is a guy. Mm. That's what it, that's the bad thing about liking tomboys. Because, yeah. 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 You thought yeah. because of the name. Although, yeah. Nayo is definitely number two. Dark Knight is definitely number two. Ashley is just, mm, mm, she can step on me anytime she wants. Um, anyways, <laughs> moving on to the next. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Cassie. Did you watch? Did you watch anything from uh, fall hey, season? Uh, yeah, bro. Winter 2018. Yeah, bro. Kakua. Uh, that was a good no, one. No, no, uh, no, 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 fall, 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 no, 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 fall, no, fall, fall. Oh no, I didn't watch nothing from them, bro. Okay, okay. I was just wondering. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll talk about uh, yeah, winter. We'll talk about Black winter. Clover. Oh yeah, Black Clover. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's Black Clover. Clover. Well, I did. I watched Shigeki no Soma season three, obviously, so that's like number one for me. Okay. Um, then I would say School Live Sunshine se- second season. Mm-hmm. That was really good, and I'm probably the only one that watched it. But anyway. Um, yes. <laughs> Actually, then, I watched it myself as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, you did, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, yeah you yeah, watched yeah. that too. Um, three Konohana Kaiten was really good. Oh yeah. Um, Interesting. Four, I would say Blend S. Smile! Uh, smile, sweet! sweet. <laughs> sadistic, surprise! <You> suck! <laughs> suicide! <laughs> suicide. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and five, five, definitely Yuki Yuna. Yuki Yuna, definitely number five. I'm actually surprised. Did, wait, did you watch uh, Sisters All You Need? I did. It's just yeah, you did. Top five. It's just all my top five now. Okay. All right. So for me, top five. That was yeah, probably six. Oh, I'm not sure. Number six. Anyway, sorry, sorry, crew. (laughs) All right. So top five. Number five, Inuyashiki. Again, shit taste. Uh, number four, uh, Kekai Seven Season Two. Mm. Number three, Imoto Sai Rabai Kuinayu. Uh, number two, um, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Natsu no Susume. Oh Num- yeah, that Natsu no Susume. Yeah, Rukabu. Yeah. Yeah. Shokugeki no, season no, three. No okay. Fuck. Right. That's yeah. that's definitely fair. All right. We've got our- Oh wait, wait, wait. Anime. Yeah, you, you gave us ours. Okay. Now, if you had to pick, in no particular order, top five from 2017 together. Ooh. The entire year. All right, the so I'm just gonna start year. it off. Number one, Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid. 
Yep. Yes. Two, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. No! <laughs> <laughs> Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Number five, Kobayashi Miss Dragon Maid. Dra <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, no, Kobayashi Dragon Maid is probably my number one. I I've rewatched. I wouldn't it. say. Okay, you rewatched it. Okay. I've rewatched it. I think thirteen times. Damn. Okay, okay. Well, I have a reason for it. I have the entire show on my iPod, uh, on my iPhone, so I listen to it at work. Yeah, so, you, you have you have reasons. I have reasons. reasons. I didn't. I don't actually sit yeah. down and watch it, but I listen to it all the time, and I hear, and and people see, think I'm weird when I hear you hear me giggling at. Things. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Kobayashi, uh, this is no, although number one is Kobayashi, and then the rest are going to be in no particular order. Probably Saga of Tanya the Evil. Um, I I still think everyone should at least watch it. My Hero Academia would probably be, be uh, up there. Um, Princess Principal. Yep. And Kakegurui. Okay. <sighs> And uh, all right. they're, they're, like I could, I, they're, I could add so many more, but those are my top five that I've, I've actually, I think mm. I've rewatched all of them at least twice. Mm. Except Princess Princess, I need to rewatch that eventually. I really do. I've, 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 I really want a second season of that. I, I'm so oh, waiting. Yeah. Yes, I'm... I, I think it is the most underrated show of the season, of the of the entire year. I think. Yeah. Because yeah, originally it was, originally it was, it was, originally it was Made in Abyss, but then it got a lot of popularity at the end. Same and thing with Oseki no Kuni. Yes, yes, yes. And, and Recovery, Natsu no Susume. Oh, yeah, originally, it. yes, it wasn't, it was glossed over, and then it became really big, yes. I, I agree with that, but I think Princess Principal, it did get some light shown on it because of the anime awards, because they get, they actually nominated for, for Best Intro, which I think it should have won. Yeah. All the ones, I understood why... My Hero Academia won, but I still think Prince Principal would have gotten it. Or at least Akka we should have at least gotten it. Akka was fucking great. I'm actually surprised Kakaguri didn't get a mention, though. Freaking Recreator should have won at least one for music. Um, I can actually... I, I don't agree with um, uh, My Hero Academia winning Best Score. Uh, there, I think there was better ones because they kept on using a lot of the same songs. And yes, they are very impactful. Yeah. But spread out? Yeah, I don't think so. Bro, yeah, I said, I, said recre I said recreators. Recreators. All right, yeah, yeah. Go for your go for your five. Uh, Kawaii, go for your five. All right, so oh, recreators yeah. will be on the oh, list. Yeah. yeah, so top five. Uh, number five, Sukasuka. Number four, Princess Principal. Number three, Shokugeki Season Three. Number two, Recreators. Number one, Dragon Maid. Dragon Maid's number one. Um, yeah. What was that? That would be my phone. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got a I got a notification, and then I opened up my phone to a game. <laughs> Don't you judge me. <laughs> All right, uh, who's next? I guess I could go next. Um, this is a this is a tough one. Um, I know there is a lot of good shows from 2017. I'm thoroughly like, grateful for that. At, at uh, least every season had at least two to three things I watched. Hmm. Okay, so I think number five should go to um, uh, interviews with Monster Girls. Uh, four, four is oh, Natsuro uh, no Soma. I mean, uh, that's uh, yeah, other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can just say um, MMO Junkie. We'll all know. Yeah, MMO Junkie. Um, three is I guess you know Soma. Um, two. Oh, two, two. Number one is Princess Principal, definitely. Really? Um, number uh, number two, Made in Abyss. Two is Made in Abyss, and one is Princess Principal. The there we go. The fact that Kobayashi's not on there makes me triggered. Well, fine. Stay triggered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, that hurts. Heathen. Mm. All my friends are heathens. <laughs> Take oh, it man. slow. I mean, I, I, I respect it. I respect that. I still think Dragon Maid is by far one of the best. Uh, yeah, I, I love I love Dragon Maid. I just think it, this is on my top five. <laughs> Which is understandable. I I could change it out for or um instead of MMO Junkie, I put um uh Dragon Maid there instead. So there we go. Yeah, that's definitely true. 
Hmm. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what other ones I could probably... All right, all Gintama. Right. G- was Gintama this year? Yeah, Gintama oh, right. uh, be releasing episodes every every uh, this entire year. Oh, that's right. Okay. And and One Punch Man. One Punch Man? No, no, no. They, that was last year. That was twenty sixteen. That was twenty sixteen. That was twenty sixteen. That was twenty sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Never oh. mind then, because I was about to because I was about to go off on all y'all for rating Boku no Hero above. No, oh, yeah, I think I think One now. Punch Man was twenty fifteen. That that's what I just said. Because twenty sixteen was my psycho. Twenty sixteen was my psycho. Yeah, yeah. One Punch Man. A year of my life, bro. God damn. <laughs> Shit, yeah, bro. Gintama was definitely this year, though, because I remember this year for sure. Okay, I, I agree with that. Okay, Gintama is definitely one of the uh, juggernauts. Yeah, Gintama, but Boku no Hero any day of the week, bro. And Bazaar, Bazaar 2017 was also in the thing. Well, and if I watch 2016, you like yeah, Bazaar 2017. You like Bazaar, bro? Oh, I read the entire damn series, like I, uh, the I, manga. I I'm so, the animation times. turned me off so much. I can't stand that animation. I mean, the manga's beast, though. Hey. I mean. Oh, yeah, I'll agree that the manga's... D- DBS turned me off as well, but hey, it's still one of my top because I like DB. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. And Dragon Berserk Ball. Berserk is yeah, like Dragon... in the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Natsu no Taza as well because I'm sure that was this year, too. Yes, I'm that sure. was. That was. Natsu no Taza, uh, that was, and that's it. Okay. That is a respectable I think, yeah. list. What I didn't watch you? the other one. The made one, it sounds cool, but I didn't watch it. I'll, it, it, I'll just put it on anyway. It's definitely anyways. not action-based at all, but it's very it, it's it's a slice of life that makes you, like, it, it's a feel-good anime. It makes yeah, you bro, I'm going to take your word. Yes. I'm going to take your word and put it on my list. I'm taking yeah, your you, word. Yeah, you, you do that. You do that. You yeah. watch that. I it, it's, watch it's, that shit. Yeah, it's, one, it's, one, it's almost all of our favorites, at least. All right, what mm-hmm. about you, Anime Dave? Or should I say, Limit, limit. X Break? <laughs> if you do that one more time. good Limit X Break? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Limit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna call you <laughs> Anime Dave anymore. I do apologize. All right, <laughs> Limit. What is your? <laughs> 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 uh, hey, hey, where, where'd you get that gun? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, if you had to pick, a, if you had to pick five, no particular order or in an order, if you have one. Uh, there's no particular order because it gets a random number, like, uh, okay. gets a random five. Uh, Recreators. Uh, I'm surprised no one picked Attack on Titan Season 2, but it's alright, though. Uh, Boku no Hero Academia Second Season. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Made in Abyss. And, let's see, last one on my list. Hajimeta no Gal. Just that, just that. <laughs> Number one, let's throw a trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 number one, handshakers. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm oh, gonna have to say the last one. To react to that. Sorry, someone wants me to react to hand re- handshakers. Yeah, uh, no. Don't, if you don't like good, at, if you don't like bad CG, you won't like it. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, and no, the last no. one, and the last one is tied between Inuyashiki and Shokugeki no Soma season three. Okay. The, okay, so I did watch um, Attack on Titan season two. It, it was good. It just wasn't as hyped to me as the other ones on my list. Like I. Man, liked at the more. end of that season, when Aaron brought out that founding Titan powers, man. Yeah. That was the best part. I've read the manga now. I've ca- caught up with the manga, so I don't need to watch the second season. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still pretty far hmm. behind. I heard. Yeah, I heard in comparison. I haven't read the manga, but I know enough about. It. I heard it's pretty far behind. Bro, the animation quality is one of the best, like, this entire year, period. It true, is. True. For Attack on Titan? Attack yeah, Titan's Attack on Titan 2. It's very clean. But it's, it also, is. Bro, it's also, also because of the peculiar style of animation, too. I don't know how I forgot this. Steins Gate was another one, bro. Steins Gate Season 2 comes, comes out uh, next year. I don't know which one it was, but I'm sure uh, there was one last year, 2017. No. no, no. no. Steins oh, Gate damn, was in, like, bro. 2013, right? Damn, bro, I did everything. 2011. Season, season, season 2011. 2011. Oh, man. God damn, bro. Decular. All right, so speaking of... July 20th. Speaking of this year... This year, what are we currently watching of this season, or what we're currently watching in general? Oh, All right. boy. All right. uh, who, who wants to start? I'm happy to start. Go for it. You seem very eager. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm so from this season, from this current season, what do you want? Yeah, from this from this season, I'm currently reacting to Citrus. Okay. Uh, 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 what what crew? What what's up? What's up? No, 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 keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, I'm also reacting to Eurocamp. That's been fantastic so far. Mm -hmm. I've recently started reacting, well, re I was reacting to it, but then my, I got um, striked for it, but I'm currently back reacting to it, and that's um, uh, Sara Yori Moru Turobosho, also known as um, A Place Further Than the Universe. I've heard great that things about that. That's amazing. It is. Amazing. On my on my own, I'm watching Card Capture Sakura Clear Card. Okay, that's that's been great. I've enjoyed every episode of that, um, and I think that's a, Oh yeah, and also on my own, I'm watching the uh, Mummy one. The um, How to Keep yeah. a Mummy. Yeah, yeah. How to Keep a Mummy. Yeah, and the other one I'm reacting to is the um, one about ramen. Oh, Miss Kozama. Love yeah, that. yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing this year. Uh, this season so far. I want to start reacting to it at some point, um, Darling in the Fran. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. I'm sorry. Uh, Darling in the Fran. Oliver, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Zero Two? Do you have time? See? See? We are men. I got all the time in the world, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, know, I know the podcast won't be able to see this. Okay. I have on my phone a picture of Zero Two if she had so short hair. And, oh, my God. Yes. Um. Sorry, let's let's see that shit. I, I, oh, sorry. And the other one that I'm wa the other show I'm watching is um the T T Takashi Sun one. Oh, uh, Takashi Sun. Yeah. Oh I've heard yeah. Good things about it. I just I, I it was actually on my top list of like most anticipated. I just it's never okay. Heard. It's a really it's cute okay. comedy. It's, it's 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 okay. I consider it okay. It's like it's not great, but I'm def I do get occasional laugh from it. So I'm yeah, still I think it. it's I think it's a good show if you like cute comedies. Okay, yeah. And, I, I, and cute ro romance, too. Yeah, a little hint of romance. Yeah, yeah hint of and, romance. And, and, I, and I honestly didn't expect anything more from that. I didn't expect it to be anything, like, super crazy or anything like that, but it was yeah. thoroughly just... It just seemed like it was going to be a good, lighthearted feel. Um, let's see. All right. It seemed like you were very eager to say something, Kawhi Kroon. Yes. I, I was just about to say that Citrus is just like, I am watching Citrus, it, it's, but it is just, it's, it's frustrating to watch. Don't say, yeah, anything, it, it, don't say anything yet. I am not, not going to say I'm anything. I like, think I'm like two episodes behind, but yeah. I'm, I'm behind too, actually. I'm on episode six of Citrus at the moment. Fury so. is love. Fury is life, Yes. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. I dropped. It is, one. but it's still frustrating to watch, considering Especially the, the past main couple of has... episodes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's fucking bro, I just, I just dropped it straight up. <laughs> you didn't even watch it in the beginning. I <laughs> did. But it's about the. It's about the. It's about the girl who moved schools and shit after her mother uh, remarried and stuff. Remember? Yeah. yeah I told you to watch it one time. Okay. 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 Yeah, I dropped. I dropped it, bro. I I dropped the show this season. I dropped Pop Team Epic. Oh, really? After after one episode. Well, I mean, I can I can understand why the humor is not for anybody, but yes, I yes. I thoroughly enjoy it because just I guess just because of the randomness of it. All right, I need to make a hmm. side note. On I have not watched really that quickly. yet, so I really need to make a quick side note. The English dub has Chris Sabat, who was the original voice actor for Vegeta in Dragon and Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z is playing one of the girls in Pop Team Epic, and it is the greatest thing really? I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. If you're listening to Wait, Vegeta? I, I just can't. It's Vegeta's voice playing in Pop Team Epic, and I'm like, this is the greatest dub of all time. Sorry, Ghost Stories, you were great, but listen Yeah, to but here's the thing. <laughs> I gotta go check that shit out, man. Here's why I disagree. Well, one, because I'm not a dub person. Two, like, in the sub version, the, the, the Japanese voice actors, they kind of... They're, they're it does, great. They are great. Yeah, they did kind of sound like they have fun with it, though. They kind of, oh, I believe they ad lib, they ad libbed a few parts, but then like in the dub version, they just kind of just read off the script. Well, I mean, if you're going to, there's no I mean, ad libbing. They didn't. They kind of really ad lib on. Well, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen much. Of, I've only seen like the first two episodes in the dub, so I can't. I have not seen an episode yet, so I, I definitely check it out. Bro. It's very, it's, it's, in... it's humor based, but it's very random humor. And it definitely yeah. is something that you have to be like interested in, 
Otherwise, if you're not if you're not in the into that kind of comedy, you're not gonna like it, and I can easily understand, I guarantee that. And it's understandable that if you dropped it after one episode, because it's random humor. If it's not your humor, you're not gonna like it at all. And I know a lot of people who don't like random humor, which is understandable. Humor is very subjective. So if you don't like it, no skin off my back. I am enjoying it, just like I enjoyed Aho Girl because it's very stupid, perverted humor. And I'm, yes, it is. And, and I'm a kid for it, so. <laughs> But yeah, certain women in the enemy. But yeah, you were saying Pop Team Epic. What other ones were you talking about? I know I cut you off, but I wanted to at least bring that up. Hey, bro, y'all seen that Sakaki Kusho or whatever? Which one? Oh, like, uh, like pink haired guy who can do like uh, so no sign on. Oh, I have not. I have. I'm, I'm not, not even trying. I'll just give y'all the link, bro. I'm not trying to pronounce this. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you were saying, um, you were saying, all right, so you were watching that, you were watching Pop Team Epic, what was the other ones you were watching? I know you're watching Violet Evergarden. Kawaii. Oh, oh, was I, was I going? Well, cause I, yeah, I, you're I, going. I, I split off your Pop Team Epic thing, that's really quickly. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I was watching Pop Team Epic, Citrus, yep. Fate Extra, which has been great so far, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Uh, Takagi-san, Overlord Season 2, which, which also has also been really great. Uh, Violet Evergarden, Junji Ito Collection, which has been kind of meh. Um, what else? I think, I think that's the it. Oh, yeah, Dolly and the Franks. I was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Sander. another one. Another one. Hakata. Tonkatsu Ramen, which I will say right now is one of the most underrated shows this season. Uh, yeah, it is, I it is amazing. I knew you were going to bring that up because I'm definitely going to watch it. Um, yeah, Ramen, it, if you you watch Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop, right? Yeah, it's one. It's my. I it's think one, it's actually one of my top five anime of all times. I think this show will be up your alley. It's got a nice jazzy OST. It's got great characters, great action. Yeah, I, I'm going to watch it. And it is in dub, so I can actually watch it with my, room, my roommates because they only watch dubs. So. And and if it's anything jazzy related, for some reason they dubs have always been like really good at that. For some reason, I don't know why. Sometimes it's, it's hit or missing things, but whenever it's like a jazzy, actiony kind of thing, I've never had a bad dub. So I'll, I'll check it out definitely. Uh, one thing that I wanted to watch, I don't know if anyone has seen it yet. Beatless. It was on my anticipated list. I just, it's. I know it. Yeah, know I'm. Currently reacting to that Honestly, right I watched the first season. I'm not, not the first season. The, like the first a, episode. It's pretty interesting, bro. Yeah. I watched the first episode. I just it, yeah. it gives me really... straight up guilty crown vibes. See, honestly. for me, Ooh, really? it's it's different because yeah, like I'm in AI. Uh, then again, it's sort of like, especially with uh, the main character, uh, Lassia. She does sort of remind me of Inori from uh, Goku Crown, but the entire story itself doesn't really. It's not. Just yeah, I watched the first episode of Beatless. It didn't really impress me so much, so I never really continued watching. Like it's the way, the best way I can describe it. It's like Clockwork Planet, but with a less less likable MC. Interesting. See, the thing nah, is, bro, it's, I just like it's it, actually bro. scheduled for twenty four episodes, so it's going on yeah. until the next season. So I don't know. I'll wait. The thing about it is, it's slow pacing too, because we've had the past uh, two, three episodes that were. Uh, Actually, I can believe these episodes five and six that were just like re, uh, pretty much recaps of the uh, what's happened so far and everything like that. Huh, so, bro, for me it's different, bro. I'm in the AI industry, so for me, I just like to view it because that's the industry I'm in. I don't know how to explain it, bro. <laughs> like the relationship they build between AIs and humans and shit. I just like to see that happen because you know, mm -hmm. I'm just in that industry. Yeah. Um. All right. So I I'm watching. Uh, I'm not I'm not watching Violet Evergarden yet, but I, I, I've come to the conclusion that Netflix is never going to release this to the US until it's way past it's already done, so I'm, I'll just watch it on my own time. I'm watching Darling in the Franks, and I don't care what anyone says, Zero Two is best girl, Ichigo is damn close, so... Yeah, is Ichigo great. is damn she close. She is great, but she is not best. I'm sorry, Zero Two... You were, mm, 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 poor mm, honey mm, on me. Mm. But anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> Citrus, I'm a couple episodes behind. I'm enjoying it, but I can understand the frustrating parts. Pop Team Epic, I'm, I'm behind, but I'm watching it. One show that no one is watching, and I can understand why, um, is Ryu, Ryu no Oshigoto, which is every um, every day's life of the Ryo or whatever. Thoroughly good. I've never played Shogi. 
never isn't there like a bunch of lollies in it or something that's the one that is my only gripe about it it is very pandering to the lolly people and they pander it a lot but if you can honestly get past that which it is a lot i will say it is a lot of lolly pandering if you can honestly get past it and get into like the whole like mentality of shogi it's actually very interesting it gets you like huh this is actually like a very serious like thing i have no idea what's going on but i'm still like in trance because I'm like, oh, this looks really interesting. Oh, they did a move and it looks like it was really big. And the shogi part aspect of it is actually not bad at all. They actually dedicated like uh, like half an arc, an episode, to like this uh, character arc uh, of like this older la- girl who's trying to become a professional, and she was just uh, slumping and slumping and slumping because she was always focusing on like the moves at the time that everyone else is using and, like, fo- and like straying away from what her original, like, her own style was. And they, like, dedicated it, and it was actually a very well done. Um, and it was a believable. It was a believable arc, and she showed her, like, she's actually went to, like, a team where, like, she, even though she lost, she played her heart out, and, like, overall, it's a, an actual good show. Yes, it, there is a lo- lot of lolly pandering, and mm. if you can get past it, it's thoroughly a good show. But a lot of people are just going to see the surface, and it's understandable why I think that if you just look past the surface and into the meat of the actual show, outside of the lollies, <laughs> it's <laughs> actually a good show. Yeah, should be knocking on the doors until a moment now. Oh, dude, honestly, I was watching. <laughs> okay, by the way, I have never, ever seen a Yandere lolly that works and is actually scary, but this show did it. Like, this, the, this main, show the, did main, it. the main character was like, oh. I see you're talking to another girl. Who is that? And you, like you just her eyes like you just it's like it has no color. It's just a sl- the pure the uh, just a slate color and like there's no iris to it. <laughs> it's just like so the my master is talking to another young girl, huh? And it's just I'm just like oh my god, she's actually terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's it's like I actually do laugh out loud like. When I'm watching it by myself, that sounds weird. <laughs> when I'm watching oh, it by myself, no. scratch Whoa. that. Please, you, I, I do not consent. I do not. <laughs> yes, no, officer, it's him. Was... The guy named Robert Reviews. <laughs> but when I was watching it, just when I was watching it on my own time, I was like, I was actually laughing during the moment, during moments, and that is something that I always enjoy uh, an anime to do. So I think honestly, people should give it a shot. Get past the lolly pandering, unless you're into that. Reaper! Um, um, <laughs> wow, I, I'm actually going that far. <laughs> Holy shit, that, that's old news. But, yeah, if you're, um, if you're, I think it's a good show. It, and I'm almost, I think I'm one episode behind, um, but that's it. It's thoroughly good. And I do, I do want to watch uh, Miss Kozami Loves Ramen because it's about ramen and, Sticking true to my name, I have to. Seriously, you should you should react to that. You should just react to it. That's all. <laughs> that that would be hilarious. I'm just gonna get the entire time. I'm gonna be like, God damn, that looks good. <laughs> and, and how do you think I feel? Every single one of them. Every single ramen on screen. <laughs> Thankfully, I literally have a ramen place five minutes from my house. So hell yeah. I think Cassius is gone. Yeah, Cassius just left us. Oh, ouch! I see. Oh damn. Oh, but. But yeah. Uh, all right. What about you, anime Dave? Oh, sorry. No. Let me uh, break. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got really close to the mic on that one. <laughs> what are you watching from this current season? All right. So I'm watching quite a bit of fa- uh, stuff, as I uh, may know. Yeah, I've, uh, I've seen it. I've seen your feed. I was like, hot, hot damn. Uh, so first, you know, Violet Evergarden, Overlord, Darling and the Franks, then Azuno no Taizai, second season, Sigtrus, uh, Death March to the Parallel World, uh, Rhapsody. Are you watching everything? Are you essentially just watching everything? <laughs> it honestly feels like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to watch, uh, you know, Skill Tees with Takagi-san, but I dropped that from my reactions and was watching it in my own time. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Koi Wai Abinagata, you know, Uni, and <laughs> well, this continues from there. <laughs> Alright, so we got Kokoku, Beatless, Fate Extra Last Encore, uh, A Place for Everything in the Universe, and finally Killing Bites. How is Killing Bites, oh, yeah. by the way? It's yeah, like one good? of the... It's like one of the stupidest, trashiest shows to ever come out in recent years. I but it's, it's still enjoyable. 6.53. The score is 
point five three. Honestly, if you just bites. like, if you like, well, what, you, what are you talking about? Uh, killing bites. Oh yeah, kimono friends on crack. Uh, kimono honestly, friends if, on crack. <laughs> I see. I, it looked interesting, but I, I was like, it seems like it's going to be like the edge show of this of the season. Honest, honestly, yeah, it's it like stupid, is. like stupid, like etchy action that doesn't it take itself like too it. seriously. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible show that's came out in the recent years. You should check it out. I think you, you like it. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it looks like one of those shows that if you turn your brain off and don't like pick it apart like I do for a lot of things you'll enjoy it that's what it just seems like that the vibe that it was given off oh uh, yeah one one thing I, was, I, I forgot to mention uh the Gashi Kashi season two that's that's another one I mentioned I'm watching how is that how is it it's well first of all it's it's a, it's only 12 uh minutes long each episode so it's oh. that's that's kind of a bummer but other than that it's it's fairly enjoyable it kind of Still kind of retains the same uh, flair that season one had. Okay, which is fine. Which is what I wanted. I didn't want really much of anything else because the first season was fine as is. By the way, Saya, best girl. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. That is one of the few things that I can agree with Laura upon. Hey, fuck you, Laura. Um, that is one of the few <laughs> things that I can immediately agree with Laura with. Yes, Saya is hands down best girl. Absolutely. Fuck you, Laura. But yes, <laughs> oh man, yes, Saya is absolutely best girl. Although I'm, I'm interested in seeing the new character, the girl with the glasses. I want to see her, just what she's about. But all right, I think that wraps up. I know Cassie's is gone, um, and we're and d by the way, without giving the person's name, have you heard anything from him yet? No, oh. I have not. Mm -hmm. I have not oh. heard anything since then. I can go back and see if I can. Yeah, just go there. Alright, yeah. so while you're doing that, let's talk about the next season because, oh man. Oh it's it's man. pretty sacked, Spring I think. 2018 is by far, right now, until we get more announcements, is by far going to be the most stacked season of this year. Oh, yes. Holy shit. Alright. Who wants to give a go or do you want me to go? Like, who wants... If you're, like, begging, like, I need to just talk about what I want to watch, what I'm going to be reacting to, what I'm just going to watch well, all the time. Well, of course, there's also... There's, obviously, uh, Sageki no Soma Season 3 Part 2. I know that's, so that's yeah, going to be... That's, that's for going you guys, because I'm, I'm that's so yeah. amazing. Manga. I'm so way I mean, in the manga, so... I mean, I'm I already have... The manga now. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the manga now, so I'm almost caught up already, so... That didn't take that long. Yeah, yeah. Still thirsty for more Rindo, um, yes. but I already have, I already have my list down. But if you guys want to go, uh, that's okay. Uh, I go for it. I want to, I want to bring up as I said earlier before we start the podcast. There's a a reboot coming along for um, a show called Cutie Honey, and it's called Cutie Honey Universe. And this is going to be kind of interesting because we haven't actually had a Cutie Honey series. Since like the '90s, so this is going to be very, very interesting to see. It's, I like I don't know that much about Cutie Honey, but I'm definitely going to be checking this out, and I may even react to it depending on how I feel about it. There is so okay, so we're gonna talk about the first four and talk. Actually, no, we're gonna talk about the first seven. The first seven are gonna be like on almost like on almost like every average or pretty hardcore viewer. Steins Gate Zero, Boku no Hero Academia Season Three, Tokyo Ghoul Season Three, Shoko Keki no Soma Season Three Part Two, Sword Art Online Sword Art Online Alternative, High School DxD Season Four, and Persona Five are gonna be the highest topics. And they're the numbers. They're the top, they're the first seven ranked shows. There and I, honestly, it makes a lot of sense. The only one that I would add in is for older viewers, a Full Metal Panic. Um, yeah, Full Metal Panic as yeah, well. I yeah. need to see that. So, getting those out of the way, what shows stand out? Not of those seven, because I honestly like I was looking on the like the lower ones, and the, some of the lower ones look really interesting. For example, um, the, there's one that's really low on the list. It only has four thousand six hundred twenty nine uh, viewers following it, and that's called Megalo Megalo Box, and this looks 
Very interesting. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I'd recommend checking it out on my anime list. It is on Spring 2018, but it's pretty far down the list. Um, it's made by TMS Entertainment, who has literally only one other anime under their belt. But, uh, at, no, I take that back. They have a few things. I'm back. I'll, never mind, I'm wrong. Uh, it was, that was another one. But it's an older art style. Older looking art style. And it's about underground boxing. Oh, okay. But they're also using, like, all right, have, do you guys know, like, Call of Duty, where, like, they have, like, the machine arms and, like, like an exoskeleton? Yeah. It's kind of like that, except they have just a very bare minimum exoskeleton on them, but they're fighting with it. So they're packing punches. So it's very interesting looking, older art style, and it looks actually relatively interesting. Uh, like he, the synopsis is JD Junk Dog participates in fixed boxing matches in an underground ring in order to live. Today he enters the ring uh, again, but he encounters a certain person. JD wants to take on a challenge that risks everything. And from the previews, I was like, this actually can be a sleeper. It looks like it's gonna be a sleeper. Another one that looks really good. Uh, well, it looks interesting. It's gonna. It feels like it's gonna be the edge show of the season as well. Maho Sojo site. Oh, that's that's kind of like a that sounds like a ripoff of Magical Girl Raising Project, but I'm still gonna watch it. It looks interesting enough, and another one that looks like in terms of like style, just from like a little bit of this thing, Caligula. It looks Caligula effect. It, it looks interesting. It's based off. Of yeah, game. it definitely looks interesting. Yeah, it's based off of game Caligula. Games. Yeah, it's a little bit farther down, so. Uh, Amanchu second season is coming out, which is always a bit fun because of those faces. But there is a lot of stuff that has the possibility of being really good. The one that I'm honestly I'm 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 really hyped for is oh my gosh I can't pronounce this in English so I'm gonna read the uh, uh, I can't pronounce it in Japanese, but it's the Legend of the Galactic Heroes: The New Thesis Encounter. It's oh, I've not seen any like of a... that. The Legend of the Galactic Heroes is very old. I think it's like 80s. But yeah. it's a retelling done by Production IG, but it's only 12 episodes. But it's fucking Production IG. And Production IG is makes some... I've never had a really a bad moment. So, so it's a, like a reboot or a it's remake a or something? It's a, okay, so I was looking up the synopsis. It's apparently a reboot. Uh, it's a retelling of the second volume. But apparently the first volume is really like nothing really to talk about. So it's basically a retelling of the entire series. But it's only okay. 12 episodes. So I'm guessing it's like a part. But it's, uh, see, it's production IG. So they have the money to do a second part if they want to. But from the previews, it looks good, as production IG always does. And I've always wanted to watch uh, the uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes because it's one of those things like everyone who has been an uh, old-time anime viewer or has watched it for a long time needs to eventually watch it. It's, but it's like, it's like a magnum opus of, uh, of the anime. It has a lot of it's very it's very old series. So the fact that it's getting a rehash with better graphics and it look and it looks amazing so far from the previews, I'm interested in watching it. The one that looks interesting to me is uh, I'm probably going to me mess up the name, but anyway, Hinamatsuri. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hinamatsuri. Yeah. That, yeah, I, was the, looking at that. I was looking at that one. It looks interesting. I'm, I'm going to definitely keep an eye on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's the one about... It's like a, a, a member of the Yakuza finds yeah. a young girl who's like this, like, what, fox spirit almost? Um, and yeah. She, and he basically takes care of her and basically keeps her in check because she has, like, supernatural powers. And the thing that stood out when I was watching one of the previews, there's, like, this badass fighter chick, and I'm like, best girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, eh, that's cool. I, 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 that was like the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, ooh, a girl that can kick ass. Yeah, she's 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 already hot. she's already hot in my book. <laughs> but yeah, hey, there's I'm definitely adding that. that. Interesting. There's a lot of things that look interesting. That's what I'm most excited for because all my favorite shows have been shows that I wasn't really looking forward to. Like Dragon Maid was not even close to my radar. Picked it up, fell in love. Buso Shoujo Machiavellianism. Looked it up, passed by it, watched it, loved it. Suka Suka. Granted, Kawaii Crew was the one who kind of, who was basically talking about it, and that got me into it. Um, mm -hmm. Suka Suka. Loved it. 
Was it on my list? Radar? Not even close. So it seems like a lot of shows that are not on my initial radar are the ones I like the most. Like Rio no Oshigoto. Yeah. Even though it's with Lolly Pandering, I thoroughly enjoy it. Darling and the Franks was already on my radar just simply because of the um of the uh, companies behind it in the studios. Yeah. So we'll see. I think this has the possibility of being a lot of there's gonna be a lot of sleeper hits. I just have a feeling. And I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. Yeah, it's going to be really good next uh, season, I think. Um, but what are you guys most l- 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 looking forward to? I'm actually going to make a video on my top five, most anticipated. It's actually going to be up really relatively soon because it starts in a month next season. Yeah. So that will be out soon. But what are you guys' like, if you had a top three or top five most anticipated shows of Spring 2018, what would it be? Uh, let's see. Probably, Shogeki no Soma. Yeah, Shogeki no Soma. <laughs> Steins Gate Zero, which admittedly I still need to catch up with the first season. Um, I'm going to be reacting to that at some point. And one I'm looking forward, really looking forward to is Chio Chano no Sugakuro. Hold on, hold on. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure if you guys, how many of you guys watched the PV, but it is crazy, man. Like, it's about like. This girl's like trip to school, I believe. Oh but it's, yes, I've read the I've yeah read, a bunch I've of crazy shit happens. I've read bits of the manga. What's this one? And I just never got around to it. It's Chio Chan no Sugakuro. Is yeah. that, where's that on the list? It's right next to. It's right under Hinamatsuri. Right under. Oh it. okay. Right under. Okay. Yeah, it's in between Maho Sojo site and Caligula. So, yeah, if, found it. Um. The manga didn't stand out to me, but I, I honestly didn't give it much chance, so that's the, my fault. Um, but I'll, if it's in an anime form, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, it's, I'm hoping it'll be absolutely hilarious. I, I, it's, it is a comedy. It's a complete comedy, so hopefully. I think it's going to be like a slight romantic, just because of from the looks of it, but it just is shown as a comedy and a seinen. So it's not in the shonen, so it's definitely going to be patterning a little bit towards girls-ish, I feel like. With like a romantic yeah. sense. With like a romantic sense, I have a feeling. Another I'm looking forward to is Saredo Sumibito wa Rio to Odoru, which actually is supposed to come out in like the I believe the fall twenty seventeen season, but it got delayed. Uh, but yeah, apparently uh, it's about where is that at? Hold on. Uh it's next to Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Oh, that's up then. Uh let's see. Oh, okay. The series six exp- hold on. Alright. Alright, what what accent should I do this in? I'll read the summary. Uh, I don't know. Uh, an awesome accent? An awesome accent? Australian. Oh, Australian no, accent? No, 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 <laughs> so <laughs> you can't even do it. You can't even do it. States mostly yeah. in the city of Eridana, Ar- Eridana. Who's who the fuck made him? Nah, anyway, whose territory <laughs> is half the Superian Dragon Empire? Ooh, and half in the Lapitote. What the fuck is with these names? <laughs> Lapitote's Seven Cities Alliance. Each half is separated by the Orialial River. <laughs> In this world, special abilities called spell formulas, Jushiki, exist, which are essentially chemical reactions augmented through special weapons that cause a magical spell-like um, effect. These special weapons are called magic staff weapons. Really? Really? That, that, that sounds like a, That sounds no original, but... Okay. And oh, are as Japanese. varied as regular weapons are. Spell formulists... Use these spell for <laughs> hold on. Spell formulists use these spell formulas to fight with beasts of abhorrent form. Natural creatures <laughs> that use spell formulas and pose a threat to humans, such as dragons, aeons, or enormies. Normies? And, oh, and enormies. Normies. Fucking normies. Enormies. Sorry, <laughs> dyslexic guy, apparently. Uh, the story focuses on the two main characters, Gaius Sorel and Gagina? Vagina? Gagina? <laughs> Gagina, <laughs> Ashley, it's Buff. Gagina? Gagina? I don't know. The, t- the only two employees of Spell Formula... Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> spell Formula's Dispatch Office... 
Ashley Booth and Sorrel Company, they are met with a various with a variety of requests from a variety of clients, all requiring the adept use of spell formulas. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Jesus, I hey, all I, it sounds confusing, confusing, but I mean, it sounds like what fantasy bounty hunters it sounds. It might it might yeah. be interesting. Yeah. It sort of reminds me of uh, what was it called from last year? Um. Fuck, I reacted to it, too. Um, <laughs> fuck, what was it? <laughs> uh, just the premise of it just rem reminds me of... Damn, I can't think of it. Um, uh, fuck. Can you describe yeah, the plot? It's like... Uh, it's got these, like, two... two like, you, at first you think they're brothers, but it turns out one's... A father, the father, and the father. Oh, is, oh, like, oh! Uh, Jikan no Shihaisha. Yeah, I think that's it. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it reminds me of that, mm. in a way. I can't remember the English title for it though. I think it's like uh, Chrono. No, Chrono, Chrono, like Chrono. Chrono I want to say Chrono. Chrono I want to say Chrono Trigger, but Chrono that's Crusade. not Chrono Trigger. Chrono Crusade. Uh, hold on. I believe it was it was it summer or fall. I think it was. All right, here it is. Drinking no sh uh, here it is. Shai Promise Shai. ruler. Promise hey, ruler. Promise ruler. Yeah, and my, that the plot reminds me of that in a small way, with the way that it's like with the magic and all that's weird. Oh well, random thought. Okay. Okay. So, that is, there is a lot of stuff. Are you guys even looking at, okay, honestly, toward summer, oh, they're actually added a couple things in summer. Yeah, there's I mean, a bit of, there's... oh, yeah, okay, I, I need to talk about this, I need to talk about this, by the way. Uh, Josh and Sean Dropkick, which is summer 2018. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Okay. Joshin Chan Dropkick is about a violent slapstick comedy about a delusional gothic Lolita, Yurin, who summons a demon girl with the tail of a cobra, Joshin Chan. They live, they have to live together until Yurin finds a way to send Joshin Chan back to hell, or until Joshin Chan kills Yurin. Yeah, I'm, go I'm definitely putting that on my plan to watch list. Like, what the that fuck? sounds wrong. That sounds... <laughs> it... I don't okay. Even, I, like, what the fuck? The only thing, okay, so season three has Shingeki no Kyojin season three, free th season three, Yuragi Sono Unison, which I know we'll have a lot of discussions of when it happens. Um, and honestly, that's all that's been released. So, really, all that's left. So, hmm. I don't know what else. I think that's it. I think that's honestly it. Yeah, yeah. I think that pretty much covers it. I know anime div is AFK or something. Yes. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Limit. Dave. Limit. You still here? Limit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Wait. What? He's here. Yeah. He, he just answered. Why aren't you talking, Dave? <laughs> Yeah, I'm here, and I'm just watching. I'm just uh, watching the uh, Spring 2018 anime. Oh, gonna... so what are you looking forward to? Because we didn't, we heard everyone else's except for you. Alright, so honestly, I'm not really planning on watching or reacting to much of this season. What? Depends on. I mean, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, I still have like uh, Boku no Hero Academia, Tokyo Ghoul, uh, Shokugeki no Soma, and I'm actually thinking about watching Sword Art Online Alternative, but I haven't watched the. Uh, too much of SAO just yet, so I mean I know about it, but I haven't watched too much of it. All right, so uh, I want to talk about Sora Online really quickly, but go on, go on, go on. I'll tell, I'll talk about it afterwards. High school DXD hero. Uh, no, I haven't watched much of uh, Stein, uh, Steins Gate, but like I said, I've heard of it, so I'll probably watch uh, the um, yeah so yeah, before I, I, need, I, need, I really need to. Yeah, so that, those those are probably my. Uh, anime plus everything that you know extends into the spring season from winter 2018 other than that like i've been planning to sort of use this to sort of take a break this season not react to too much like probably like a good 
probably eight anime. All right. Um. I. Okay. But before I talk about Sword Art Online, I highly recommend everyone to at least try Persona Five. Because all the Persona games are not linked. None of them are linked. Um. And the anime, the anime adaptations from what I've seen, are basically like retellings. Uh. However. Since Persona 5 was my favorite game of uh, 2017, by far, the music in it is phenomenal. And I think that uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to use the same exact uh, composer. I've The storyline is actually very well done. I, if they continue with like the dark themes that they did in the game, I think it's going to be really good. And I honestly would recommend everyone to at least try it out. If anything, stay for the music because the music is going to be absolutely phenomenal, I feel like. I am wondering if it's going to be only 20, 12 episodes, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But I am going to be watching this horror online alternative, and I'm probably going to be reacting to it. Main reason why I'm going to be watching it is because we're missing Kirito. It's not going to be about Kirito. Damn, well, I'm not going to watch it then. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you bastard. No, okay, so it's <laughs> it's going to be... It seems like it's going to be based off of in the second season because it's talking about Gun Gale online which is all in season two but it's going to be following a different group and i really dislike kirito because he's that i'm overpowered because reasons i don't like that sorry it's not my thing um i know all the all the guys will be like i want to be him because he gets all the pussy and he's just badass (laughs) because he's a badass and he has swords and and long hair and lightsabers and fucking no so i'm hoping this does what my i'm anal about Character development. I want to know about this girl. Like, okay, I'm just going to say her first name. Karen always felt out of place in the real world. Due to her extreme height, she found it hard to make friends with other girls her age. Everything changes when she's introduced to VR and Gun Gale Online. In GGO, Karen is free to play the cute chibi avatar of her dreams. Can Karen find friendship in this blit-ridden MMO? The visuals in Sora Online have always been phenomenal. Like, action scenes, phenomenal. Music score, phenomenal. I just didn't like the characters. This is going to be a new set of characters with a character who looks like she's troubled in real life. Hopefully they they talk about it more. But I hope that they bring in the dark aspect that was in Season 2 in this one as well. And not just going to be like, let's find friendship and kill people. No, I hope not. I'm actually thoroughly looking forward to this. Maybe not as much as... I'm not looking to it as much as My Hero Academia or Tokyo Ghoul, but it's definitely going to be up there. Um, I am looking forward to it more than High School DxD, though, <laughs> because I already know what I'm getting into with High School DxD. With Sword Art Online, it's up in the air, and I kind of like that um, that unknowing aspect about it, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, but there, there does seem to be a couple of shows that, or if you're like, if you like, if you're like me and like rom coms, there are a couple of things that look like it's going to be on there. Um, Actually, the, the one a lot of people on that I've spoken to on Twitter are looking forward to is um we'll for talk, the from uh, the spring 2018 season. The we'll talk is the, the knee. Uh, no, the 3D can that's the other, yeah, Joe, yeah, that one's actually, real yeah, girl. Yeah, that one's on. That's one of my. Uh, that's on my list. It's on my list to watch it. Um, because that's a very popular manga too. It's a very popular manga. Yeah. So I've and, heard. and I was reading the thing and I was like, okay, this looks interesting. So I don't know if I should read the manga first and get spoiled. To it. I'm not going to be reacting to it, but I, I think it's going to be something. If if it's especially if it's on Crunchyroll, I'm going to be watching it on my own time for sure because it looks good enough. Yeah, 3D Kanajo, Kanojo Real Girl. That yeah. looks thoroughly interesting. But is there anything else? Um, it looks like we're not going to get our special guest in. Today. No, it doesn't look like it, sadly. Yeah. So uh, hopefully next time we'll bring him in. We're not going to say who it is. Um, so it, we did get a guest today, though. Caligula. Or not Caligula. Oh, my God. Caligula. I was looking, I was looking <laughs> right at the, I was looking at the thing. That's why. Uh <laughs> Wow, I'm actually drawing a blank on his name right now. Cassius. 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 Wow, I'm fucking bad. We did get a special guest with Cassius, who was a last minute. Hey, let's bring him in. Thank you, Limit Break. <laughs> um. <laughs> right, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow. I know. I'm just gonna die. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna commit seppuku because I dishonored. He's gonna, he's gonna spirit bomb your entire house. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, we, um, uh, uh, anime Dave did bring him in, and he that was definitely interesting, an interesting experience. But hopefully, we bring in our next special guest who was supposed to join us, but unfortunately, he got cut up with things. Um, mm -hmm. And hopefully, we can bring more guests in. I'm hoping we can eventually get a uh, memory in here because he does lead another podcast, but I think he <laughs> is also re really well versed, and I. Never actually had to get to a online talk to talk with him, so I think that would be cool. Um, but I think that's it for this podcast. Is there anything I might have missed or anything we want to talk about anymore? No, hashtag I think that's Lar. it. Hashtag fuck <laughs> Lar, and also hashtag Kawaii Lives Matter. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, yeah hopefully your account gets back. Um, but, yeah, this was Ramen from Ramen Reviews. Uh, also with me was Limit Break, not Anime Dave. Um, we also got Oliver <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> Yeah, we did get Anime Dave. He's no longer Limit Break. Don't let the press tell you anyways. Hashtag fake news. Um, <laughs> limit, God damn it, Anime Dave. It's no longer Limit Break. It's going to take me a long time to get used to that. Uh, Oliver Smiley, Smiley Reacts. And as of right now, just Kawaii Crew because uh, his, his account is, uh, is uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, MIA I'm... for the time being. I'm yeah. dead for the meantime, so... For the meantime, but we, we, yeah. we'll, you'll get it back. I know you'll get yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, of, especially with fair use, we... Yeah, so... I, I know Anime Dave is very uh, adamant on killing me right now, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Um, any any closing statements? Uh, any self-promotion? Uh, I'm the Kawaii Crew in hashtag Fucklore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Anime Dave. I am my Davies, uh, signing off for now and fuck <laughs> <laughs> Laura. Right. And I'm the I'm the Australian of the group Smiley Reacts, hashtag fuck Laura. Yep, yeah, he is he is across the pond for sure. Oh, and Oh, hello. Back hey, up. Cassie is. Uh, hey, dog, time to say goodbye. Someone, someone yeah. called me on my phone, dog. <laughs> it was something important as well. This nigga took so much time with mom, bro. <laughs> Well, we're, we're I just, actually just about to say our goodbyes. Would you like to... Oh, give it's okay, bro. I came for goodbyes, bro. All right, awesome, dude. Anything you would like to say to the podcast listening? Fuck DBS. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, it. Hey, 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 say, say fuck Lar. Yeah, fuck that too. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> One of us. One of us. Fuck Lara, bro. God, I sound like a larva, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was also Cassius, anime dude friend, and I am, of course, Roman from Roman Reviews here. Thank you all for watching. I do apologize for the five-month break in between. Uh, hopefully, yeah, sorry for that. We're not going to be doing that again. Yeah, hopefully we'll be getting, we'll getting back. Maybe, I think, what, maybe by the end of Winter 2018, we'll talk about what was really good, and uh, we'll maybe do another quick recap of Spring 2018, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, maybe maybe sometime, like, 2025. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, they're I'll going be, back I'll, in ten years, bro. Yeah, I'll probably be <laughs> dead by then, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, hopefully we'll actually have that special guest in next time. So keep an eye on yeah. that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below of anything you guys would like us to talk about, whether it be anything from freaking tentacle porn to fucking no, no, not fucking law, fuck law. Uh, God damn it. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, moving on. <laughs> bro, yeah. oh. y'all niggas need to watch oh, Open a Hero. Should, bro. Uh, I mean. We all have Pico. Pico? Pico? Oh, Pico? oh god. Yeah. Okay. That's what Lars Bruh. watching next. If hey, we actually, watching that next. If all of us have seen Bocono Pico, uh, Bocono Pico, I think we do deserve, like, we'll have a segment and just talk about how horrible it is, but we'll eventually need to get I, 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 I have a later on. Yes, to chat subscribe for, uh, to our, uh, no, 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 yeah. subscribe to Smiley Reacts, get into a thousand subscribers. Don't subscribe so to Lar. Man, yeah, don't subscribe to Lara. Fuck him. Uh, subscribe yeah, fuck him. to Olive, uh, Oliver because if he gets 1,000 subscribers, he did say on here that he will watch and react to Boku no Pico. Granted, I, I highly recommend you put it on Google Drive because you cannot show that at all nah, on YouTube. Same here. Oh, nah. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it for this video, guys. That's it for this podcast. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below as always. And as always, have a good day. Good night, good morning, and fuck Lar. <laughs> <laughs>